Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the unique axe called the Brain Hue. Uh, obviously, specifically because, you know, you're hewing brains. Who doesn't hew some brains? Gotta hew brains. Uh, this particular axe is 30 to 54 damage. It is uh, 39 dexterity and 63 strength, which is not bad at all. Uh, 25 level requirement, which is, uh, again, not bad at all. It's normal attack speed with no increased attack speed, which does mean that this is probably something that you're going to put on maybe a barbarian or a druid, specifically the druids, because they have the nice um, increased attack speed for two-handed items. Uh, we also have an 80% increased uh, damage on this bad boy, uh, which is really honestly not a lot. Uh, normal difficulty items tend to have rather low enhanced damage, and then on top of that, they also tend to roll between numbers. So this one will roll between 50 to 80% enhanced. Uh, we also have a pretty massive plus 14 to minimum damage on this, um, which is going to uh, help bump up that, uh, that wide spread on the Great Axe. And then we also have a very nice 15 to 35 fire damage, which um, honestly at level 25 might actually do something. Uh, we have 13% mana steal on here, so it's definitely going to be an axe that's going to help you for uh, restoring your mana if you have uh, big mana cost issues, as well as plus 25 to mana as well to help bump up your mana pool so that you have more mana in the pool. Uh, we also have plus 4 to light radius on us, so this is not really that great. And uh, the ethereal version is 37 to 81 damage with 29 dex, 53 strength requirement, and level 25. Now, this weapon can be upgraded actually fairly nicely um, to the exceptional version. And uh, when it upgrades to the exceptional version, I believe it actually goes pretty well. Uh, let's test it out, shall we? So uh, we're going to go from 30 to 54, 39 dex, 63 strength, level 25, to 46 damage, to 126 damage, 79 dex, 115 strength, level 30. Actually, not a bad little upgrade there. I think that's a pretty good upgrade to level 30. The ethereal version, of course, can be upgraded as well uh, from 37 to 81 damage, 29 dexterity, 53 strength, level 25, to, uh, oh, I need a soul rune. Yeah, I grabbed two Ral runes. My bad. 62 to 189 damage, 69 dexterity, 105 strength, level 30. Um, the ethereal version, of course, cannot really be utilized because it will eventually break. Uh, the only way you could do so is with a Zod rune. Um, unfortunately, Zod runes tend to raise the level requirement pretty massively. Uh, you can upgrade this one more time, though, and uh, to do so, you're going to need a Pull rune, you're going to need a Lum rune, and you're going to need another perfect emerald. Um, this is going to upgrade us to the Elite version. And I don't necessarily think that this is going to be a good upgrade, in my opinion. Um, but it definitely will be something to look at. Uh, so we go from the 46 to 126 Gothic Axe, 79 Dex, 115 Strength, level 30. To the Champion Axe of 120 to 169, 59 Dex, 167 Strength, level 73. Not very good upgrade at all. Um, the Brain Hue Gothic Axe, when the ethereal form, can go from 62 to 189, 69 dex, 105 strength, level 30, to 172 to 253 damage, 49 dex, 157 strength, level 73. Unfortunately, at level 73, that's really not a good upgrade. Um, it's just too high uh, level for the rather low damage that it has as a two-handed weapon. Like, 172 to 253 is something that you would see on a one-handed weapon. And um, and seeing it on a two-handed weapon at level 73 is rather depressing. Um, it doesn't really have any special modifiers like uh, Crushing Blow, Open Wounds, Deadly Strike, uh, you know, nothing like super special like casting specific spells on attack or, or anything on Struck. Um, really, the only thing special this thing has going for it is 13% mana steal, which, you know, in normal difficulty might be pretty cool. But in Nightmare and Hell difficulty, it's really quite lackluster. Um, let's go over to Silo's Pen, though, and let's take a look and see where you could potentially find this item if you wanted to hunt it down. And uh, why not? All 
All right, so here we are over on Silo's pen, and since it's a relatively low-level item, we're going to assume 50% magic find. And um, let's pull up the brain here. The brain here. Who doesn't like to hear brains? It's extra brains. You don't need your brains. All right, so we're going to assume normal difficulty because we actually want to try and find this on level. And uh, it looks like Diablo and normal at 1 in 346 is our best bet. Bale is a little bit of harder of a farm, obviously, because you got to go through the waves. Uh, honestly, Diablo really is a, a very good option there. Uh, let's take a look at Super Unique Nekanekas, Super Uniques. And it does look like Shank can drop it. That's a pretty good option. Eldritch can drop it. Doc Farron, Pintle Skin, Thresh Socket. So you got a pretty nice little list of monsters there that can drop this. Um, with pretty decent probability as well. Um, there's really not a lot more to talk about with the Brain Hue. Um, it does have a very interesting graphic at the very least. I mean, I mean, let's let's go back and let's take a look at this graphic real quick. We might as well do it a little bit of justice. I mean, look at look at that cool graphic. Isn't that, isn't that really pretty? Let's let's see if we can get in the game and we can really look at it like from a good angle. We'll zoom in. You know, we'll go to Act One by the campfire. We'll get the we'll get the campfire glow on it, and uh, and we'll really we'll really let it shine. Hopefully the campfire's going. It's not going. Okay, we'll do. We'll use the torch then. Let's see if we can get a nice. There we go. A nice sheen on that bad boy. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watch my videos, even when I'm hewing brains. And uh, as always, keep watching.